Now we noticed that these plants that we just purchased last week, the gentleman at the nursery said, yeah, we could probably keep them in the garage for a day or two because they were still dormant. Well, they're starting to bed out some fresh leaves. You can see those brand new green leaves. They're the paler ones. And so we need to get these plants planted before those, uh, before they die here. Yeah, plant, let's plant them. That's what we're going to do. All right. So we're heading out to the uh, property today. What are we going to do, Daniel? We are going to plant some bushes. Which bushes? Blackberry. And? Raspberry. And? All the other bushes we got. <laughs> Is there a blueberry in there? No. No blueberry? Okay, but there's blackberries and raspberries. Okay. We'll see you guys out at the property. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Give the next one. Run! Oh yeah, look at those leaves. We need to get these guys planted right away, don't we? Yeah. Next. Quickly! Trapped in there. How'd you get trapped in there? Okay. Don't know why. Can you uh, hand that shovel to me? Oh, I got it. Oh, let's see. No, I don't have it. Can you hand, start that shovel out? You'll need to pass it back this way, probably. Oh, you got it? Okay. Let's do our blackberries first, I think. Think so? Okay, let's uh, come up here by the pond. Pulling up some of these weeds, are you? Okay. It's getting hard. I, we just need to do a little stretch along here where we're going to plant the uh, plants. So we, we don't need to do everything. Now, oh. first one we'll plant is the Ozark Mountain Dark Purple Muscadine. Do you know what muscadine is? Oh. Kind of like a, a wild grape. We're going to plant that right here. The reason we're going to plant it right here is because we're older, like soil with good drainage. So we're close to the pond, so it'll get water, but we're not uh, down below the pond, so it won't get soaked. It's deeper than I thought it was. Okay, go ahead and let's take it out of the uh, container. Water the muscadine then. Oh. How much? Oh, just uh, how much do you have there? Uh, okay. Just, just enough that it's uh, uh, watered and doesn't need to be swimming in it. We don't want to drown the plant. Let's go check and see how the fishes are doing at the fish pond. Okay. 
look at that, the pond's clearing up a little bit, isn't it? It was pretty murky before. And we can actually see a little bit here. Are you going to go swimming and see where they're at? No. Well, the good news is, so far, <coughs> I don't see any signs of any dead fish here. Do you see any dead fish? Yeah. You do see dead fish? I mean, no, I was green. Oh, okay. Isn't English crazy that way? Yeah. Is this where uh, French has something better than English because they got that C, which means I agree with what you said did not happen? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. See? Oh, look at the, we're going to have to do something about those burr plants. They're a pain. I do not see any signs of any fishies in here. Dead or alive, which... Ow! Ow! Burr poked me through my shirt. Are you a burberian now? Yeah. Yeah, maybe you need to choose different uh, shirt next time, huh? What do you think? Do we need like a little dock right about here, Daniel? For yeah. you guys to fish off of and maybe do some swimming in the summer? Uh-huh. And it will be a floating barrel dock. Floating barrel dock. Well, we can check on that. Barrel docks would be better. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be a floating dock of some kind because this water goes up and down like a yo-yo in here. Well, you know what? The good news is I do not see any signs of any dead fish. Bad news is I don't see any signs of live fish, but that probably means they're down in the middle of the bottom somewhere. Which is good. Which is good because that's where the food and that's where the food is. That's where they're safe and protected. So I'd really like to put the pawpaws right along here, four of them. One papa, two papa, three papa, four papa. Five papa, six papa, seven papa, eight papa, nine, <laughs> ten papa. You want ten papa trees? Yeah, a lot. Okay, well we'll see. I was thinking four would be plenty for us, yeah. but I think but ten would be cool too. They're really good shade trees. Back to the car! Actually, I bet you you can beat me down to the uh, shooting range. Ready, set, go! Take your finger out of the trigger when you're loading it. If you have your finger on the trigger, you can accidentally shoot it. Oh. <laughs> Did I hit one of the C-34s? Yeah. Bring it over here and let's show it close to the camera. Oh, I can't even carry it. <laughs> okay, okay, that's not a good place. Okay, back up. Back up. Back up a little bit further. There you are. Cool. It's only this tiny bit left. How much? Turn it around so we can see it in the camera. Oh, okay, you'll need to lift the can up. We can't see it through the can. Oh. There you are, just that little bit left, the A and a little bit of the C holding it together. Turn it around now so we can see the big gaping hole. 
turn the cam so we can oh. see. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. There you like go. Like a tiny monster. Like a tiny monster. Oh.